What's up YouTube? I'm bringing you guys another customized battery box build that I just finished. The previous one that I had on the channel was a lead acid battery. I think it was like 30 or 50 amp hours, uh, so not much. This box has a lithium iron phosphate 100 amp hour battery, so much better. So what I did was I hooked up all these rocker switches here in the front. So we had the vent port, the rock light on the left, that corresponds to this left switch here. This is a switch for the back panel, and I'll show you guys that in a second. This is an extra switch that I don't have hooked up. This is the fridge switch, which is hooked up to this because it's running the Dometic CFX45 fridge freezer. So there's that. Here's the fan switch, and then the right light switch. So the fan switch, uh, basically we have a port here, air flows from left to right, and then the exhaust port is here. Starting from the top, I have the master cutoff switch because I wanted to charge this battery independently um, when it's off. So basically what that does is it doesn't run power through the entire system. So I can switch this off, everything turns off, and then I can charge it there at the SAE port. There's another, that's where I plug in the fridge. In the front here, we have another 12 volt. We have the voltage meter in the middle, and then we have two USB 3 amp quick chargers. On the back side here, we have two more USBs. We have another 12 volt, and then of course, a USB-C quick charger 3.0. The case is a Pelican 1460. So what I did was I found the battery that I wanted to build this case around first. So let's take a look at that really quick and then I'll show you guys what I did. So I was doing a lot of research and this WISE battery, W-E-I-Z-E, -E, had a lot of good reviews. It's a lithium iron phosphate 100 amp hour so I didn't know what kind of case that I wanted, but I knew that I wanted a 100 amp hour battery. So I bought the battery, got the dimensions, and then I bought the case to fit around that. And that's the 1460. So it's a perfect fit. You just pluck out this foam, pop it in there, and then it's good to go. So we'll take a look at the wire management. Not the prettiest, um, but it works. Here's the master cutoff switch. So I only have two positives going to the master. One's for charging and then one is for the rest of the power. And then of course everything going to the negative. And then you guys can see different fuses that I have in there. So those fuses range from five to 10 amps based on what they're actually hooked up to. And then I have extra fuses at the bottom there taped down in case they go out. I can swap them out really quick. So all together, I think this battery box build was about 700 bucks. Um, I know there's a coupon on Prime for the battery. I think it's a 30 or $40 coupon. And you guys can find coupon codes for the Pelican case. Um, so the equivalent on the market based on my research was anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 if you guys were to buy something with the capacity that, that this has. So about half off and it comes in a Pelican case. So super rugged. Uh, we took it down to Mission Bay last uh, couple weeks ago and it was powering the fridge, it was powering speakers, it was charging phones. And I think I had about 0.2 amp hours of drop off. So that's a full day of usage. So it's pretty cool. Definitely worth it. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. I'll go ahead and post all the parts that I have in there in case you guys are looking to do something like this. Um, of course, if you guys have any questions, I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Um, cool. Thank, thanks for watching.